For the past two months, I've been playing a ton of Valorant. The first month was just learning the game, and the second being mostly ranked. And to aid me in climbing the ranked ladder, I decided to find a new mouse pad. My current mouse pad is a SteelSeries QCK mouse pad, and that's my first real gaming mouse pad. Jake bought it for me on a random trip to Micro Center, and I knew nothing about mouse pads then, but you know, I did the job. So I asked around, I looked at various YouTube videos, I read Reddit posts, there's a whole subreddit on mouse pads, and I even asked some of my buddies who specialize in mouse pads in FPS gaming, bad Z tech, and patty cakes. So I went off the rails and got two from Wish.com to see if they would be legitimate or not. Fancy recommended the LGG Saturn, but I also picked up a Jupiter to see what the ultra slow even felt like. And Patty Cakes recommended an artisan mouse pad, but I couldn't really get my hands on that, so maybe someday, but not today. So I'm going to try them each in a few death matches in Valorant and at the range and see what's comfortable at a first glance, and then I'm gonna use them to game for like a week. I have two mice I really like, the Logitech G Pro Wireless and the G Pro Super Light. This one's a little bit too fast for me, and I've been using this one a lot lately. It's heavier, it's got the stock feeds, but I like it. This is the Razer Gigantis. You can tell it's Razer because it's green. So it's very thin, it has this kind of Razer thing here that looks all right. It's fast though. It's a bit smaller of a mouse pad than the rest, but they do offer different sizes too. It's cloth. And to me, it felt fairly fast. Maybe I just don't have a lot of mouse control yet since I'm new to FPS gaming, but I overflicked and overcorrected a lot. So while I'm out here spending good money trying out a ton of mouse pads, I'm excited to tell you about a way you can win a Tesla Model X Plaid. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm working with Omaze again to offer you the chance to win a Tesla Model X Plaid while supporting a great cause, Reverb. Leading the green music movement since 2004, Reverb partners with artists, festivals, and venues to reduce their environmental footprints while empowering millions of fans to take action on today's most pressing environmental issues. Just go to omaze.com slash switch and click to enter for your chance to win. You know, I've always dreamed about owning a Tesla, especially when I lived in Washington, everyone had them. They look super sleek and they're cool and I wouldn't even need to pay for gas anymore and you wouldn't either if you won. Everyone thinks sports cars are the way to go. Nah, they're wrong. SUVs that are electric are the future and that's what you get with a Tesla Model X Plaid. So for your chance to win, go to omaze.com slash switch and click and enter now. Donations support the amazing work of Reverb. Next was the Logitech mouse pad. So this was what it came in. I have no idea what the model is. I'm thinking that it's the 840. And after doing some more research, it seems like the surface of the 840 is the exact same as the 640. And the 640 is what a lot of pros recommend and really like. Yeah, I'm gonna try it out and see if I like it. It did not come in that tube. Nope. The G840. I'm not sure if I really like it. I think it's a little bit too fast for me, but a lot of pros use it. So I might give it a try on the work desk and not necessarily the gaming one, just to try it out a little bit more before I say no to it. But so far, the LG G Saturn is the one that I like the best. And the Rocat one, I didn't use too much. It felt super thin and flimsy and eh. Okay, now for the not big brand stuff, lethal gaming gear. I'm gonna do the Saturn first and then try the Jupiter. I have a feeling the Saturn will be quite nice. It's got a lot of support on the internet, on Reddit and on YouTube too, from a whole bunch of people. You got the Saturn, Jupiter, Mercury, and Venus. So this one is the fastest and that one's the slowest. So I got these two and I got the XXL. Oh, $50 per mouse pad is not terrible. You can go for an XL if you want something cheaper, but I like, I like it big. I like it big. And then I picked one of these up for Jay cause you know, it looks cool. So I've got my Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn mouse pad set up on the table right now. It took a little bit of maneuvering to get it under the monitor stand. I'm gonna play a few death matches, test out the new mouse pad and see how it does. So far, it feels really high quality. It's definitely a hair magnet, especially our cats, but it's thick and it feels slower than what I've been currently using. So there might be more control uh, and maybe I'll get more headshots, who knows? Okay, so I've done a few death matches with the Saturn 
and I gotta say I didn't like it at first because it took some time to get used to. This mouse pad sucks. Actually, micro adjusting with this mouse pad is like a lot easier. Flicking, you've got to just move your mouse a whole ton. So tracking with this is great. I've checked out the other mouse pads and they tend to be a lot faster. And I tried the Razer one. The Razer one's actually like really fast. So I think I'm going to get some more slow ones. My current one's a little bit faster than this one. So maybe slow is the way to go. I don't know. So this is the Lethal Gaming Gear Jupiter mouse pad. Same quality as the Saturn. The Logitech G Pro Wireless, it's like ultra slow high friction and this is my g pro super light and this has i think core pads feet so this still feels really fast but a little bit slower so i'm gonna try them both and we'll see how it goes yeah i've been using the lethal gaming gear jupiter for a couple of death matches with my g pro super light and yeah it's it's pretty slow i don't know if i love it or hate it i really think the saturn is a better choice for me so far it's really really slow you have to like go whoop and then lift and then do it again but the tracking is good if they're not moving a lot across your screen you can go across the screen but it's gonna take it's gonna take some effort so the jupiter ended up hurting my wrist since i had to lift up my mouse so much and move my arm all the way across the mat to flick someone's head and it was almost too slow it's got this reputation online as the mud mat it's just way too slow i'm not about it i'm gonna put it back in the box so the saturn is really the one that i'm going for right now but from my experience it's not about the mouse pad you use or the mouse you use it's about you getting consistent with the gear and the settings that you choose to use so i'm gonna give this combination a try for the next month or two and see how i feel about it so tell me what is your favorite mouse pad down below and do you even care about mouse pads in general i really had no idea about mouse pads at all until i've watched like optimum text videos recently okay since switching to the lg g saturn and the g pro wireless combo using it for a couple days now i am now in silver 2 so that's me pretty consistent i've been ranking up slowly games have been going pretty well i've been winning more than i've been losing and my headshot percentage has been improving as well very consistent so the intention is i'm going to use this mouse pad for the long term until i find something better then i'll let you guys know about it.